Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match stream. Starting out this stream with a game between One Cut and Flipstep on Geyser Plains. One Cut actually pointed this out to me. This is a game he wanted me to cast. So I figure I will, because I'm a nice guy like that sometimes. It's in a good mood. Figured I would. Let's just begin with that. We have One Cut in the east side of the map going for Klugabot Factory, while Flipstep, the west side of the map, is going for Cloakie as well. A set of interesting choices. I mean, this is a flat map. Oftentimes we see shields and vehicles in this map. It's not bad to go Cloakie. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a little bit unusual. Not something you see very frequently on this map. Flipstep going for a lot of Glaze. He's going to go for an early raid, while One Cut started out with a Conjurer and is going from there to a few Glaze. So he's definitely going for a bit of defense, maybe a bit of raiding. Wants to go around. Uh, yeah, he's trying to raid definitely. Not just going for basic scouting, while Flipstep going for a direct, very powerful, quick assault. Make sure he knows whether or not expansion is happening to the north as well, but mostly just attack to the center. So Flipstep being very aggressive early on, and One Cut does have some defenses up. He does have a Lotus up in a bit of a poor spot. It's not going to be able to go past the factory here, but it will defend around the back. That's good. So the metal extractors are well protected, but he's going to have to be a bit careful around the factory. His commander is on the wrong side of the factory, though. It's on the same side as the Lotus, which is not going to help out too much. As Flipstep does arrive in here, he's bringing in his Glaives, and One Cut is going to be able to respond decently well, but he is being forced to retreat. One Cut being at a disadvantage, he is running into Flipstep's units. That's not what you want to do. It does not work out for micromanagement in this game. Because units just... They work better when they're retreating. As I mentioned before, it's easier to avoid bullets when you're not running into them. Also, there's actually, the bullets do not gain speed from the unit that's moving. There's no relativity in the game, so units that are running away actually do have slightly longer range in effect. Because their range is considered based on just a static circle around them rather than the fact that they're running away. So units running towards actually have slightly smaller range, units running away have slightly longer range, so it even makes it stronger that way. Anyway, one cut does have a large enough group. He should be able to get rid of flips of forces, especially since Flipstip is not microing super well. But Flipstip does actually save one of his glaives, and the other one able to do a fair amount of damage. One Cut's glaives getting all disorganized, getting away from each other, not staying in a nice tight line as they should be. But he, at the same time, Flipstep has taken the center of the map pretty well. Flipstep, he does have some glaives over to the south to make sure he can take it. That is the juiciest point in the map. He wants to make sure to have that. And a glaive to the north as well, just in case One Cut goes up there. Flipstep well prepared around this map, and some ticks as well in case he gets raided. Flipstep is well equipped here. Continue with Glaives, and One Cut is going to run into this, though. Going to lose a couple Glaives to the Defender and to Flipstep's Commander, but he should actually be able to get around. He avoids Flipstep's Commander, avoids the Tick. That's a really important thing to avoid. He should be able to raid in and attack. He is over going south somewhat. I, he's not aware of what's going on, though. He doesn't know... Yeah, he does not actually know what... Oh, stupid one. Okay, whatever. He doesn't actually know what Flipstep is doing to the south. I can't show that because my... Hockey's got screwed up for some reason, but that is what's happening. Anyway, he does have some raiding going in the back. One cut, nice raid in the back there with Metal Extractor, and a second Metal Extractor will maybe go... No, it won't go down. It won't... It will just barely go down. The Glaive does die at the same time, but one cut gets two Metal Extractors for a Glaive? That is a good trade. That being said, though, Flipstep's still ahead in economy, still way ahead in map control. And going for a counterattack as well. One cut's commander is in place. Just as the pea shooter, though, no special weapons on top of the pea shooter. So that commander will work okay for defense against two glaives. Not especially well, but okay. Still building up along the least important part of the map. This is not where you want to build up. The south side is where you want to build up. Neither player really focusing on that after Flipstep changed. And Flipstep does take out One Cut's glaive, so glaive force completely gone. One Cut has lost that. Getting a few more glaives of his own, though, and. The rating phase of this game is lasting a surprisingly long time. Normally, it does not last this long, but... Oh, actually, four minutes is not so bad. But on a map like this, the rating phase will often switch out pretty quickly. Into Rocco's and Warriors and so forth. But it looks like... Well, One Cut is switching over to Rocco's fairly soon. He's not doing so in force. He is still getting a lot of glaives. And has actually managed to get a bit of an economic advantage. Managing to eliminate a lot of Flipstep's economy, apparently. I'm not sure... Don't see that actually being done. I guess it's just a lack of reclaim. So, yeah, one cut slightly ahead in economy. 
though neither player really meaningfully had. So basically, even game. One guy, however, has managed to secure the south side. If he brings in, he needs to bring in a conjurer down there. I don't think he has any. I don't see any on the map for him. No. Well, there's one on the north side. So there's one in the northeast. That will help. But the south side, that is where there's like seven metal pretty much right there. North side, it's spread out a lot more. It's not valueless, but it is much more spread out. And Flipstep has spotted one cut's expansion, so he knows that he can just deal with that. And he knows that now is a good time to deal with that too, before one cut builds any more defenses. One cut, however, going in for an attack in the center, probably not gonna last too long against Flipstep's commander, but you know what? He might actually have a chance, though the Lotus is not helping, and battle comms take a long time to go down. So this will not work out too well, unfortunately, for one cut. Losing a lot of glaives for basically nothing. <sighs> that that's gonna hurt. That is really gonna hurt. A couple Rockos are in place, but nothing really to stop this. No, there's no tick, for example, to really stop any other attacks outside of Flipsip's commander. Because in time, yeah, those glaives would have killed Flipsip's commander on their own if they were dodging around, weaving away from the rockets. That didn't happen though. And Flipstep getting warriors of his own. At this point, one cut does have Rocco, so we can counter the warriors, but there's enough glaives, it won't matter yet. We aren't getting into massive warrior versus Rocco at this point. It's still glaive dominated. And the south side has been taken by Flipstep again, though neither player has actually tried to expand there. This is very surprising. Flipstep trying to take a bit of the north, not a bad idea, but still, that's only as valuable as the center of the map. It's too. Actually, the center of the map is pretty valuable, that's what Flipstep has which is helping him out a lot. One cut taken, has taken the north side and the southeast, which he's getting some stuff off of. I mean, he is getting overdrive on top of this, but really, not even much overdrive. Really, this is 0.7 metal. That's not much. Like, really, this is not worth taking for all the money he spent on it. And especially since it's going to go down. The only thing is that it's not really worth harassing. And one cut is taking a lot of damage as a commander. His commander is not an upgraded weapon. Needs to get away from these glaives. Goes into a pit, which really is not where it wants to go, and his commander is barely saved by the glaives. Just barely. One cut does not lose his commander there. That was close, though. Flipstep almost had it. One cut, however, does actually manage to get rid of some of Flipstep's glaives, so if nothing else, he's managed to even that out slightly. But Flipstep taking a lot of map control, taking this three metal expansion and losing it right away as well. One cut, nice raid there. That's what he wants to harass out. But he can't deal with Flipstep's commander, which is very forward commander. Same time going to the north side of the map, and will he find... Yeah, it looks like he has a tick ready to deal with these glaives. Probably going to try to harass the north as well, so Flipstep taking the north. Flipstep has taken... Or, no, he's got a glaive here. Why is he not... Why is no one building this out? Does no one know in this game that this south side is super valuable? Seven metal, or 6.5, basically. That is huge! Why are not... Why are people not taking that? It's pretty easily defended, and it's very valuable. I, I really suspect that neither player is quite aware of the fact that this map has really wonky metal values. It's not the most obvious, because this map actually doesn't have... Like, this is a really old map, though. It's just that these two metal spots basically get merged with the way Zero-K looks at it. But yeah, that's still four metal in one spot. One way or another. That's how it works out. And we one cut and Flipstep have been posturing, and one cut going for another attack. Flipstep has... Nice defense. He's fine. He will, however, take a bit of damage. His commander should be able to get away. The warrior is not getting close enough to deal with it, and the Rockos... While they will help, are going to go down quickly, though. Actually, they are pushing back decently well. Now, flips it back in his base. He is getting a caretaker, which is too far away to help out with the factory. Kind of sucks, too, since seeing he's getting Zeus's. And he is definitely needing caretakers at his factory. He needs to get that caretaker in here. He's reclaiming for nothing. Caretaker way too far away. If he's building a second factory here, it might help, but he is not doing so. In fact, he hasn't built a second factory around the map at all. He is trying to raid out to the southeast, which, as I mentioned before, is really useless. There is no point actually doing that. Because these mechs is count for nothing. So I don't know what his plan is there. Still, one cut going back to try to save his useless mechs is, or near useless. At this point, not worth it for trying to get ahead. And one cut, however, going for much more useful mechs is, dealing with these mechs which are a little under two. And he needs to actually kill it. There we go. Gets it before the caretaker can deal with it. And the caretaker actually is in a bad spot. Like, there's one defender around it, but that's about it. If that defender goes off, fires off its missiles, then everything else can go through and take care of the caretaker. And like I said, too far away from the factory to help out, so Flipstep just flooding in metal, not using as well as he could be. One cut, however, does actually have a couple of caretakers in his factory, so he's 
Spamming units. One cut has an advantage here, and Flipstep about to lose his commander. His commander is really not in a good spot, and down it goes. Flipstep loses his commander to one cut's units. Cannot get away through this either with the Glaives. The Warriors will stop the Glaives, and these Rockers will stop the Warriors as well. So, one cut, well prepared, has a very large army. Having gotten rid of Flipstep's commander, he can just plow through everything in the center of the map, and one cut, I think, has this game. I'm not sure if he's aware of that, though, but he does have this game pretty close. Flipstep, however, having the north side, that helps out a bit, but is not taking advantage of that for production. That's the problem. He is not using that for production. I don't know if he's aware the Caretaker was too far away, or if he just made a mistake, or if he intended to have the Caretaker over there. I don't know. A second factory is the only thing that would make sense to have a Caretaker that far south from your main factory, or that far away from the main factory. So Flipstep is, however, going for a second factory, going for a gunship plant. Probably going to go for a Black Dawn to help finish this off. But we'll see, he might just go for a lot of Banshees. That being said, his army on the ground will win at this point. The Zeus's are a bit of a problem, but he has enough Rockos to deal with them. And everything here in the center, he can just plow through. He can just walk and fight and kill everything, and that will do the trick. But I'm not sure he's aware of that. Like, he probably suspects that Flipstep actually has a production advantage, that he actually is funneling all his metal into the factory, and he's not. But Flipstep is not making that obvious. I mean, one cut's not aware of this. He might be aware of the fact that Flipstep doesn't have as much of an army growth as he should, for presumably how much economy he would have. But he's basically... Yeah, one cut's well ahead at this point. Though one cut is losing his north side base, and Flipstep is taking it. One cut is going to go through the center instead. Bit risky if he does so, because he's going to have to deal with the fact that attack is going to come in from the north side into his main base, and a Black Dawn is being built to deal with whatever else comes through. Like I said, one cut can just march and win. He's not doing so, and like I said, the fact that these Zeus's are to the north of his base is going to mean his main base is going to get attacked pretty heavily. Building up some solar collectors likely to get in the way of the Zeus's. Good plan. Might want to get a couple lotuses there as well, but his main army is going to do fine, just pushing through everything. And down goes, well, down goes one more metal collector or metal extractor for not collector. What am I saying? Solar collector, metal extractor. Big difference. One more metal extractor down for Flipstep. Still economically ahead, still well behind in production. Though the northeast side has been removed, Flipstep taking care of that, and Flipstep taking most of the north side of the map. By the way, Flipstep still has not built a second factory, and still has not taken the south. He has units in place, but neither player taking the south. This entire game, no one has taken the south side of the map. If one cut took that, he would definitely win at this point. The amount of caretakers he has, he'd be able to just push that forward. An extra six metal would, well, that'd be 21 metal without reclaim. And he has a lot of reclaim to work with as well. Not a lot of workers, though, but he does have a lot of reclaim. And continuing to push through, getting rid of yet another metal extractor. A three-value metal extractor. So that's three less metal per second for Flipstep. And Flipstep finally gets a caretaker on his Clogibot factory. Finally does that. Took long enough. Actually, took too long. Really, one cut is going to push through because of this. The one cut, his conjurer has been revealed and does go down. Unfortunately, he did not quite leave that in a safe spot. He does have another couple of Conjurers, so he's good for now, but he's still not in a great spot. He's not reclaiming either. This is Reclaim! Take it! Black Dawn def nicely defending the south, but actually not... It's not going to last too long. Defending the south as best as it can. Tick to help out with the Zeus not blowing up in time. If that Tick goes off right now, that would be perfect! Why is that Tick not going off? Make it... Oh. Okay, there we go. The Tick goes off. That Zeus has been taken care of, and... One cut at the same time as army, taking care of a few more Zeus's, but starting to loot. It's starting to run out of steam. Building more and more units here, and building another Black Dawn. He should be able to deal with these Zeus's, but at this point, not going to worry about it. Pretty much anything will deal with these Zeus's at this point. And one cut continuing to the north to deal with Flipstep's, arm, or Flipstep's economy. At this point, they are pretty close to economically even. It's a question of reclaim at this point. One cut needs to reclaim to actually get economically even, but like I said, just take the south side. And it looks like one cut actually has tried. Okay, I missed that bit. One cut did try to take the south side, so at least he's aware of what he can do there. But at this point, destroying more of the economy and bringing Flipstep that much closer to one cut in economic potential. But the fact is, Flipstep has managed to build up more units with his reclaim. He's actually managed to make that work out for him. Getting a sharpshooter as well. Has been revealed, though, the Black Dawn well aware of where it is. Not... No, One Cut not dealing with that. And at the same time, One Cut has getting attacked from the south side. 
taking a bit of damage, losing a couple metalized strategies, which didn't really count for much. But still, he is losing them. These were the glaze that were in the south side of the map, and Flipstip is now taking the south side. That is huge. Also, one cut loses his Black Dawn. Also huge. The sharpshooter at one health. If these glaives can avoid his shots... I oh know, those are Flipstip's glaives, so never mind. That doesn't matter. He won't be shooting it. So yeah, one cut starting to lose his steam. Flipstep having now pushed his production into his factory. That will be a big deal. And really, should probably stop building Black Dons. Or if he's going to build Black Dons, use them to raid with. Just go around the map, destroying all the metal extractors. He is raiding decently well with these these ground units. But the Black Dons would do a wonderful job dealing with the metal extractors. Especially over here, where... Well, actually, the defenders are a bad idea. but Maybe not in the north. But definitely around the map. Just bring the Black Dons around the map. Reduce the economy. And now Flipstep has gotten an economic advantage. He is, however, pouring all that into more Black Dons. I do not agree with that decision. Given the fact that his ground army is doing pretty well. However, he's about to get rid of the Caretaker. And once he does that, that actually has already stunned out the Caretaker. That is going to help out. He's going to need to kill off a few more units from Flipstep. Destroy a lot more of his army. Point out that one cut, by the way, has not lost his commander. So a lot of his army value is like 1.3k of his army value is his commander. So he's actually a bit behind in terms of his frontline army by value. And the sharpshooter here is doing a wonderful job actually defending the base. Though Flipstip still losing more and more of his metal extractors. Lost that caretaker so the production advantage is no longer there. While one cut is moving to the north from the looks of it. Yep, he is moving straight to the north of that Black Dawn. That is going to be pretty big. While at the same time we do see over to the south here another Black Dawn. Not taking out this metal extractor though or the metal extractors that are coming in. But yeah, to the north, the Black Dawn is coming in and taking quite a lot of damage. Unfortunately, going to go down as a result of this. Cannot escape, but yeah, that didn't really work out too well, did it? Like I said, that I briefly thought it was a good idea, but now, no, definitely not. Rather unfortunate for one cut there, losing his Black Dawn. Like I said, he really, okay, there we go. Pushing his economy into his Cloaky Bot Factory, not into his Black Dawns. That's what he needs to do. Still has another Black Dawn, though. Still can get rid of these Zeus's without too much issue. Though, needs more Rockos. Needs more Rockos, needs more Warriors. His economic advantage is still short-lived, and he's... Oh, gonna lose another Black Dawn! No, this is not working out. He's gonna lose the game as a result of losing all these Black Dawns. That... Way too much money he didn't have to lose. He... Oh, man. And now all of his army value is 2.5k. A lot of that was Black Dawns. And yeah, pointing out that this field here, this is... I need a builder to show this off, how much reclaim there is. Where are the builders? There we are. Yeah, this reclaim field has about, yeah, 2,000 metal. See, M2000 there. That is one guts. So at least, or at least one could, could take it. He's taking the metal extractor instead. But he can take the reclaim field that's basically in his territory. But at the same time, Flipstep has taken the south base and one cut hasn't stopped it. This is where the Black Dawn should have gone, is to the south base. I, I don't think the players realize the south bases are that valuable and they need to look at them first and foremost and try to keep them... basically make sure their opponent cannot take them and make sure they have them. Constantly throughout the game. This has surprisingly not been the focus. I don't think these players know the map. But at the same time, we do see that One Cut does have another Black Dawn. If he sends it to the south, he's going to have a good chance. But he needs to send it to the south. He is now reclaiming the center with his commander. So that is good. Getting rid of one of the sharpshooters too. Wonderful! That... Being that Flipstep has invested a lot of his economy into sharpshooters, eliminating as many of them as he can is definitely a good priority. And now taking care of the south side, not bad. That wasn't the most valuable metal extractor. These two, of course, are, but still tearing apart that south side of the map. The one cut harassing where he needs to. Black Dawn still hasn't moved into position to help out, though. Where it really, it really, really, really should. One cut, however, about to lose his commander to Zeus's. Two more shots, and down it goes. Oh, that commander... That commander was all the reclaim power that one cut had, and that was a lot of his economy too. And as a result, Cloakabot Factory lost all of his caretakers. Zeus in the main base. I think Flipstep might actually turn this around as a result of getting into the main base here. I mean, one cut had a really good chance. He actually had the game in the bag, but he didn't move forward when he had the chance. He didn't push more than Cloakabots, and as a result, he's now he's up against the ropes. He actually has pretty much lost the game. His army value is a quarter of that of Flipstip's. He has no map control at the moment. He has very little economy. This south side, like, Flipstip took it and managed to hold it, and one cut never really contested it. He went for it once, but didn't really bother. And of course, Flipstip took the north as well, which just adds to that. So yeah, Flipstip has the game. One cut just snatched defeat from the jaws of victory, I'm afraid. 
Yeah, one cut. Since you did actually request that I look this game, I'll just go over once again. Don't invest too much in gunships unless you have a particular priority target you want to kill. And maybe the south expansion, that's about it. However, the position you were in, you could have just plowed through forward and won. That would have won you the game. So next time, keep an eye on what your opponent is doing for production, and if you notice they aren't building that many units, just push forward and win. Anyway, that was the first game tonight, so the next game I'm going to have is between... Between Cube and Rymark on Archer's Valley. So stay tuned for that, it'll be up in just a moment.